Welcome back to the channel. In this video today, as you can see, I'm going to try my best at through the lens footage with the Somnion VR1 super high-end VR headset. Now, as you enjoy this footage, just to say, as always, this channel is sponsored by FS Academy and they've got a new bundle called Zero to Hero, which contains five training packs for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And that includes IFR, VFR, Jetliner, Navigator, and Commander. Priced at $69.99 USD, it represents a 40% discount off their full lineup with over 60 training missions from a real world pilot. If you're interested, check the description below, available in the marketplace and through their website. Right, back to the VR1. And you'll be pleased to know I'm going to show you some racing sims as well. That is thanks to Arta for providing me with his own footage. That's why some of it will be cropped. I have no idea what this is. I think it might be a set of Corsa as a guess. But it really does showcase the QLED panel and the natural colours. Um, all the usual things apply with through the lens footage. That is any artifacts like you can see some banding, some reflections, uh, some strange sort of anomalies that appear. That's just because it's being recorded through a phone screen, which isn't really ideal, admittedly, but it's the only way that I know how to do it without spending loads of money on a special camera. And I'm just not up for that, guys. Sorry. But here's some Half-Life Alex footage, actually, and you can see all the incredible details of this game. Valve, please, please, I'm hoping that you've got another PC VR game in the works that looks this good. So I thought I'd show you some of the black levels. While it's still a work in progress, the VR1 does have local dimming. It's never going to beat OLED, guys. Okay, so bear that in mind. And at the moment, um, I would say the local dimming is very similar to the crystal on balanced. But there is some updates coming for the VR1, which I'm looking forward to trying out. That's why it's quite difficult at the moment to really put a number on this until I get the final software. You see all that reflection there? That is simply uh, through the light of my window reflecting onto the lens as I'm trying to take the footage. It's very difficult doing this stuff. Anyway, as you can see here, this is like a sunset scene and again really showcases both the colours and the brightness of the screen. Um, it's a bit wobbly because the headset it is a bit heavy really and trying to hold it really, really carefully and the tracking was going a bit funny because my base stations are really close by because generally speaking, I'm in my motion rig and they're set up for that. But for these recordings, I'm very close. That was a 146, just gone by there, beautiful. And we're now looking at a leather seat here in the TBM850. Nice frame rates. We're getting around 40 to 45 frames per second at the moment. I'm working on a setup guide, which will be released once the VR1 has been, you know, completely finalized and is ready for prime time. So there you are, folks. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do feel free to subscribe and more VR1 content coming very soon. Bye-bye for now.